Hi, my name is Billy Schoenberg, and I'm a developer with IC Systems. And today what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, get models uh, onto and off of uh, your iPad using uh, iTunes as well as email. So uh, first what I'd like to do is uh, you know, talk to you for a moment about how to use the iTunes file manager to get models onto your iPad. So here we have a housing supply and demand model. You know, we just pulled this off of uh, the XMO Exchange site. And so uh, we want to now open this model up on our iPad so that uh, we can simulate it and look at its uh, causal structure. So what we do is uh, we go to iTunes. And uh, you'll notice that uh, when I'm in iTunes, uh, I've connected my iPad. And so I have this iPad button in the upper right-hand portion of my screen. And when I click on that, it brings me to a listing of pages within iTunes, which shows me uh, all about my iPad. And I make sure that I go to the Apps section of uh, iTunes, and then I can use the scroll bar and scroll all the way to the bottom of the page to get to this portion of the page that says File Share. I then select the application that I want to share files with, Stella Modeler, and then I can use the Add button over here to open up a file picker which will allow me to choose any model that I want to put on my device. So here's the model that I want to put on my device. So I select it and I hit Add. And you'll notice that it's added the model to Stella Modeler Documents. And then um, when I go uh, to my iPad, uh, I'm able to open up Stella Modeler. And I can see the model right there in my listing of my models. And I tap once on the model to open it up. And you can see here that uh, now I've got the model on a device, and uh, I can double tap on any of these modules to enter in. So that's the first way um, that we can get models onto uh, Stella Model of the iPad. The second way we can get models onto Stella Model of the iPad is using email. Um, and this requires that you actually have uh, you know, your email client set up through um, you know, the iOS mail app. So I'm going to go back to the home screen, and I'm going to go to my mail. And in my mail, you'll, you'll see that I was uh, sent a message uh, from um, support. And what I can do is at the bottom of this message, there's a model here, you know, test STMX. I can tap once on it, and I can tap again to open install a modeler. And boom, now that model is opened up on my device, and I'm able to go back to my models and see that model right there. Oops. So now when it comes to taking models off of the iPad, we again, we have uh, two options. We can use email or we can use the iTunes file sharing. So to use email, it's quite simple. Um, all you got to do is uh, hit the email icon next to any one of these models and it'll bring up uh, uh, you know, an email composition page which you can then um, send uh, that email to anybody. Um, and you'll notice that attached to that email is the model that you've selected. The second way that we can take models off the device is, again, through iTunes. So if I go back to iTunes, I'm again, I'm in the apps and uh, Stella model are in the file sharing section. I can select any one of the models on the device, hit save to, and I'll save this one right here to my desktop. And then if I go to my desktop and we look for uh, Predator Prey, I can click open it up and there's the model that we were looking at uh, on the iPad on my desktop. 